Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? I'm back with a different video this time, not a review. Uh, this time I'm going to talk about some hacks for you, uh, for you know, you guys that are in the United States. It's called X for maybe European. For the Europeans, it's called Lynx. Like I think in uh, England or somewhere, they're called Lynx. And in the United States, they're called Axe. So yeah, there's those deodorant body sprays that uh, are marketed basically for teenagers. So Coach Rob yesterday uploaded a video talking about Axe Instinct and that it smells like some fragrances that he came across. So basically, um, I want to thank Coach Rob for making that video. It kind of gave me an inspiration of making this video because I actually used to be into the Axe thing before I started, uh, you know, buying fragrances. When I was younger, I couldn't afford them. So, uh, I, you know, I tended to buy lots and lots of Axe products. So, let's get straight into this, not to keep you guys too long. So, the first one is going to be Axe Instinct. Um, this one, yes, it does come off very spicy. Um, really, really spicy. So, I remember I actually had X Instinct and I gave it away because I didn't like it anymore. I walked into the fragrance store like about a year or two ago. And the sales associate uh, told me to try out a fragrance. And it was Boss Orange by Hugo Boss. I tried it out thinking that it was going to be a fresh fragrance because it's named Orange. Turns out it was not fresh at all. That one was spicy as anything too. And it kind of made me sick to my stomach. So basically when I smelled Boss Orange by Hugo Boss, it totally, totally rem reminded me of Axe Instinct, which I didn't like either. So if you like Axe Instinct, uh, definitely go check out Boss Orange by Hugo Boss. It might be a fragrance you know you might be interested in. I found it that they smell very similar. Now the next one I'm going to talk about is Axe Anarchy. Uh, it was a new one. I think it came out last year, if I'm not mistaken. And basically, you know, I sprayed this one. I didn't actually buy it because I have a lot of fragrances, but I sprayed it just to see what it smells like. And it opened up with like this citrus sweet. It had a sweetness to it with citrus and like a really small hint of this greenness. It's probably mint, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, citrus, sweetness, mint. What does that up to? <laughs> the one and only Paco Rabanne's One Million. It definitely reminded me of Paco Rabanne's One Million. I remember when I smelled One Million in the store. And I smelt this Axe Anarchy. I was like, wow, this is Paco Rabanne's One Million. So if you like Axe Anarchy, definitely go check out Paco Rabanne's One Million if you haven't checked it out yet. Uh, you might be pleased and you might actually buy it if you like um, that Axe. Now my next one is going to be Axe Excite. It's a purple one. And um, basically I actually had this. I owned this one. And I used to use it before I get got into fragrances. I really liked it a lot. Uh, it was sweet with like uh, creaminess. It was like a sweet creaminess, kind of reminded me like strawberries or like uh, like raspberries or strawberries, something like that. And I was looking for a fragrance. I was in the fragrance store one day, and I used this fragrance, Paco Rabanne Black Excess. Uh, I used this one. I sprayed it on myself I smelled it and I was like well that's like the axe that I use but I didn't buy it I did buy it though for my brother this is not mine this ain't my bottle uh, it's my brother's so definitely if you like axe um, excite definitely go check this one out black excess by Paco Rabanne and another one that smells just like it is CK Euphoria Intense that one has like a creamy um, you know, sweetness, like a cherry, not cherry, a strawberry sweetness to it. Definitely those two. If you like Axe X, Excite, definitely go check these out. Paco Rabanne, Black Excess, and uh, CK Euphoria Intense. Now the next one. Uh, it's going to be Axe Africa. 
Um, I think Africa is the one that's here in Europe. In the United States, it's called X Kilo. It's a sweet, spicy, and when it like, you know, when the smell kind of goes away, when it's going away off your skin, it got this like vanilla, vanilla vibe going on. Um, I had the body spray and I did have the uh, body wash too. So, I remember that smell. I really remember it. And I have this fragrance in my collection which smells exactly the same as that. It's La Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, it's this, this stuff smells the same as Axe, Africa, or Kilo. Same, same exact way. Definitely go check it out. Check out La Mal if you have the Axe, Africa. Definitely go check this one out. Uh, you're, you might like it. If you like that axe. Now, the last and final one. Uh, this one is the one that got me really in interested into fragrances because I got mad compliments with this body spray, you guys. It's Axe Dark Temptation. Uh, yeah, you guys all probably heard of it, smelt it, I'm pretty sure. This thing was hot, man. When it came out, I remember like two, no, like, hold on, like, like four years ago when it came out, this thing was hot. Everyone was like spraying themselves with these, man. I remember like going to school. I already sprayed myself before I went to school, man. And like some, you know, some of the kids that um actually, you know, drove their um motorcycles to school, I would see them, you know, popping up the seat and like spraying themselves with the same body spray, you know, Dark dark Temptation. Everyone was rocking this stuff, man, and the girls seemed to really like it, too. So, one day I was, you know, watching reviews, like always, on YouTube. This is before I started um, my own channel. But I was watching um, videos, and I messaged Mark, uh, Robes08. I messaged him up, and I was like, yo, Mark, I need your help, man. I'm looking to buy fragrance, but... I want it to smell the same way as Dark Temptation. It's like this chocolatey, it's like this chocolatey smell, man. I want a design fragrance that that's gonna give me that chocolate. And his first, um, the first fragrance that he um, recommended me, and probably the only one. I don't think he told me anyone else. But the first, the fragrance that he recommended me was Angel Man by Thierry Mugler. He was like, go check that out. Uh, it got that, you know, chocolate, um, sweet, like, dessert type of vibe going on, like that body spray, and definitely go check it out, you might like it. So, you know, I went to the store, I sprayed this, I kept on smelling myself because I put it on, I kept on smelling myself through the day, and let me tell you, it smelled really, really, not exactly the same, maybe Dark Temptation is a bit sweeter, more synthetic, but... Angel Men, I was actually liking this a lot more, man. And I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go buy this fragrance, man. I'm going to stand out from the crowd. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to stand out from the crowd. So I went to cop this Angel Men because it smelled like Dark Temptation. So if you like Dark Temptation, wow, here's your answer. That, that was it, you guys. Um, hopefully, I didn't take long. Uh, I don't know how long this video is, but hopefully, I didn't take long. And I really hope that... I helped someone, at least one person. I hope I helped them out. And um, definitely, I'm going to leave this description down be in the um, description box. Like, I'm going to have the axe on one side and the uh, designer fragrance that that's similar to it right next to it. So, I can make it easier for you guys. Definitely go check it out. If you like one of these axes, go check out the ones that I recommend for a fragrance. And, um... Please rate this video and comment and tell me what you think about it. So until next time, I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.